All right, in this video, the Google Sidebar series, what you see here, we're gonna go through this step-by-step -step in a series of videos, and ultimately what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be addressing several requests that I've had for the past several months. Now, before I jump into this tutorial, I did get a request from a user about making this Google Sidebar, and I've decided to incorporate many other things into this series of videos to address other requests that I've got from users. But the particular request for this Google Sidebar, that user did provide me with a link to this video, the Google Sidebar theme for Android made with KOWP, and that is by Curveball111. So check out that video. I'll give you a quick preview here of what we're going to be seeing or making with a few more things added onto it as well. Okay, so let's get started question that pops up a lot is how do we get things to look right on nearly any device you got to use some math you got to use the SIR width SIR height what you see here boom perfect example I have a Galaxy tablet here on the left and my Galaxy Note 8 on the right these two wallpapers yes they are wallpapers I can slide these away and bring them out this is my Google sidebar that I'm going to be showing you how to make these are both loaded up and I have not made any adjustments, but look at the difference between them. Notice we have a lot of space down here. We don't have a lot of space down here. This looks wider to me, but as a matter of fact, it's not. The width of this card is 80% of the entire screen. Now, if you look in terms of percentages, this width of this card, this entire card, it covers 80% of my Note 8 screen. So what I want to show you here is I'm going to start tapping some of these icons, social networks, picture and videos. This is on the Galaxy tablet, by the way, and I can alternate in between these. Well, I can do the same thing over here on my Note 8. I'm just tapping, you know, on the Note 8, these same pieces, and the animations look slightly different, but yet they're the same. It's crazy. It's all about the size of the screen, the aspect ratio, and you have to incorporate SIR width and SIR height. Now, even though these are to set up the same. I'm going to open up KOWP and read over here to the left. This is all the stuff I'm going to be covering in this series of videos. Iconzy, that's how I'm getting my icons from an icon pack to show up here. This is the Stealth Icon Pack by Stealthy Chief. I'm going to show you how to use the YouTube API to get the thumbnail and subscriber count. That is my thumbnail on YouTube and my current subscriber count. Uh, using a little bit of regex for the Google Plus and Twitter followers. So currently I have 673 G Plus followers and a whopping 19 Twitter followers, but I did get a request. That's why I will include that in this series of videos as well. This weather image that you see on the background, that's actually getting pulled from a folder on my device. I'm gonna cover that in this series of videos. And something I failed to put in here as I was making this, but I am going to include it, I promise, is daily data usage. I did get that request from a user as well. And down here, just for safe measure, I'm sure I've missed something in all of this junk that you see up here on the screen. So all of this and more will be coming. And again, a lot of this is based off of the requests that I've got from you all over the past several months. Now, a few more things to show to you before I open up KOWP. If I slide away the Note 8, notice that uh, piece there that has the SD made, the calculator, the clock, and... I think that's if this then that but anyway uh, that right there if I slide it away it's getting hidden and that's a clipping animation going on there and that applies to all of them all of those animations now of course we can use the X to close these off as well and now let's look at the globals for both of these devices in KOWP now as I mentioned at the beginning everything about these is identical I'm just going to scroll through these real quick and I want you to see that everything on the tablet is matching everything on the note 8 now look right here for example all of these numbers are the same yet they look different and it's all about the aspect ratio so you know over here on my note 8 I have quite a bit of space plenty of room to add more of these if I wanted to Whereas over here on the tablet, I don't. Well, here's what I'm going to have to do here. Based on the globals that I've made, and I will be showing you all of this stuff throughout this entire series, the icon size is going to be the size of all of these icons as well as the icons that animate out here as well. So these right here. If I come and adjust the icon size, notice I'm already starting to build some space down here at the bottom. So now this is starting to look more like this over here in terms of getting space. I hope that makes sense there. Now I can make the text size a little bit smaller if I wanted to. So yes, I have changed those two versus what they were originally. 
Now, I'm not going to go through all of these globals right now in this video, but the H margin is allowing us to put some spacing between the text and the icon, and it also applies that up here to these icons in this text as well. Not only that, I have the H margin linked to the icons inside of here. So let me open up, you know, pictures and vids. And if I adjust the H margin, it's going to adjust the spacing in between those as well. So just keep that in mind. But this is allowing me to make this look the way I want it to look. But one of the most important globals up here, and this is where things get real interesting, is the width. I mentioned that the width of both of these cards, the width of this card that you see here sliding out is 80% of the screen width, and the same thing applies over here. If I make this tablet card less wide, maybe knock it down to 60%, everything's still going to animate correctly. Watch this. The music still slides out and it ends right there. Notice the icons are kind of like anchored to the right side of the card. And everything still looks fine. Now in the event that my icon size was too big, let me come back up here and let me adjust this icon size. And notice that looks kind of jacked up over here with this X. Well, that's why we have to have number globals to come in here and adjust these things. But as we're doing it, and the crazy part that I'm going to have to show you how to do is this. All this stuff that's adjusting this and making these either get closer or farther apart or all this crazy spacing going on, we still want these animations to line up, have the height to match, go the proper distance, all of that stuff, and it's all about using number globals to adjust these things. Now all of that and more will be coming soon in this next series of videos. Again, not just a Google Sidebar series, folks, understand that. There's a lot more things to cover as I showed you in that text document at the very beginning of the video. And ultimately in the end, this thing should look good once you adjust some number globals on any device that you load it onto. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.